Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are going to be going over Adobe Audition and what we can do to make our voice sound better. So, in this video, I took a quick audio recording of me using my Shure SM58 into my Zoom H6, which is my personal favorite podcasting setup, and we are going to be making it sound a heck of a lot better using Adobe Audition. So, one thing that I want to suggest right away is that you do not use the podcast voice preset. It does a lot of things and I don't necessarily like how they sound. So let's play the audio and hear what we're going to be fixing. This is a test using my podcast equipment to see if I can make the audio sound better using Adobe Audition. The first thing I'm going to be doing is going into the dynamics processing. Now what I like about this the most is that what this really does, and I'm just going to kind of play this as I work on it so I can kind of feel what it's what it's going to end up sounding like. What I like to do is I like to drag down the peak to about negative five so that any value, so uh, let's rewind. What you're seeing in this blue underneath is the audio and its current value. So if I go here, it's going to raise the value at negative 20 to about negative five. So it's going to give it quite a boost. What I like to do with this in mind is I kind of like to create a little bit of an S curve. So what this really does well is it cuts a lot of that really low noise. If you're using a handheld microphone like I was in this instance, it's going to really give a really good feel and eliminate a lot of those quieter voices and noises and bumps and you know outside noise, if you will. It's gonna really raise what's important, in my opinion. So as you can see, you can hover over these points, and in this case, it's taking negative 18.4 decibels and lifting it to about negative 11.9 decibels. So this is my favorite thing to do initially. It really just brings everything together, brings up the right values, lowers the wrong values, and it really just provides a good way to get started. What I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go into mastering. Now this is my own personal feel. I'm not an audio engineer, I just wanna get that out of the way right away, but I like to take this Bright Hype preset. I drop all the reverb and I lower everything else to about 20. So I go to about 20 on the exciter, I go to about 20 on the loudness maximizer. Widener I keep the same, output gain I keep the same. One thing that I like to do then next is I like to drag this high shelf enable to about zero. I really feel that this gives a good a good vibrance to the voice. It really helps just lift it, it makes it more personable, it just brings a good full feel to the audio. Next what I like to do is go through and say, okay, do I need any denoise? Do I need any de-reverb? Is it a little bit echoey? Within that, I'm just gonna say this, I'm not necessarily gonna do it because in this instance I don't need to, but you can use the denoise and the de-reverb to reduce a lot of that echo, a lot of that background noise, and really just enhance the audio. What I'm gonna do next is go to the parametric equalizer. I don't know what this custom one is, so please forgive me for showing that. What I like to do with this is I like to go to the high pass filter. I make it about 80 hertz. It's a great place to reduce a lot of that lower hum and a lot of that buzzing that you get from, you know, not necessarily the best preamp or anything like that. What I like to do then next is I, I like to typically take a subtractive approach rather than an additive approach, but I like to just boost this number two value a little bit and boost the highs a little bit. So this just, again, it gives a little bit more treble. It gives it a little bit more bass to the overall vibe of the sound. And really it just gives it a good lift in my opinion. I think it makes it a little bit more full. It kind of really finalizes the effect of the vocals. So let's play through what it sounds like now. This is a test using my podcast equipment to see if I can make the audio sound better using Adobe Audition. And before, this is a test using my podcast equipment to see if I can make the audio sound better using Adobe Audition. And after, this is a test using my podcast equipment to see if I can make the audio sound better using Adobe Audition. So this is a great way to make your audio sound better using Adobe Audition. I hope that this tutorial helps. Please let us know what you would like to see next. We would love to produce a lot more videos using a lot more programs, a lot more different techniques and abilities to help you guys the best that we can create the best content. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.